Hello internet people, my name is Robert and in this video I'll show you how to create an HTML email signature. This will work on any email provider like Gmail, Outlook, Yahoo and so on. We will use an email generator website to get the HTML structure for the signature. But after you are free to style it in any way you want it. In this tutorial, we will be updating HTML code. So if you don't want that, then check out my other tutorial where I show you how to do an email signature without any code. The video appears in the top right corner right now. It's the white thingy there. It's showtime. Tip sweat punch. Just head to the description of this video and click on the first link. And you will end up on this page. And to generate the HTML code, we're going to use this software, mysignature.io. And let's create an account because that way we can actually get the HTML very easily. So just sign up. If you don't have an account, I'm going to log in since I already have. And then you land on this page. So if you don't see this, this is the slash dashboard. And you might have a button here to go to the dashboard as well. But then just create a new signature. As you can see, you have many options here. These are all pro options. Uh, but we're going to just use uh, from here from drop down free and here are your free options and then we can select for example I like this one I'm gonna select it and this is super simple you can just update things here so if you change your name here you'll see it updates here directly if you remove one of the lines it will disappear also from here so for example history I, I don't want that just like something simple maybe the company my company like this all right looks good to me you have other options here also change the image the size of the image and so on the social icons add-ons for example uh, sign, sign off here regards uh, i don't like it but for example video conference would be nice so let's say i use google hangouts there's a nice button there and then you have uh, different uh, design options here also if you see all layouts you'll see that you have other options here they're slightly different from each other you can see this one doesn't have the line this one has and then once you're happy with everything, when you're okay, this looks good to me, you can go to back to free. All right, like this. And now if you click on save signature, okay, it doesn't want to remember the image. So let's change the image. I'm going to upload my own image. And here you can adjust your image. For example, if you want a circle, you can adjust it like this. For example, apply. And now you can see it's a nice circle here. And once you're happy with all of this, uh, let's save sig the signature. And now you have it here. If you scroll down, you have also the source code. This is the HTML we need to copy. So just grab all of it and copy. And now head to your HTML editor. I have prepared just an empty page, HTML page. Going to copy this one there. There's a lot of code right now. And if I save this and go to the page you can see now it appears here now the problem here is that this code is a bit messy so all we have to do is go to google i'll leave link to this page in the description but basically you can unminify the code let's do that so i'm gonna paste it here looks very weird but if you click on un unminify then it will actually make it nice and pretty so now we can go and copy all of this here so it's otherwise too messy to work with so like this all right now you see there's a lot of code here it's quite long actually but you can start updating anything here so for example if i save it now uh, what do i want to change so let's say no yeah okay public teacher let's say i don't want this let's copy it and now go to your editor and you can now change this one so for example content creator like this i'm saving it and now if i reload the page you see it updates to content creator awesome right so this is how you can update everything oh and you probably noticed but for emails you need to use an inline css styling like you see here and feel free to play around with the css in this code you can really make this the way you want it and style it the way you want it this just provides a nice starting point for you and if you don't like something so for example this create your own signature so I don't like that, so let's search for it. Create. So in this case, this is an image, and I don't need all any of it. So I'm gonna just delete this whole uh, section. So this is where you see the TRs. So let's remove it, then save it again, 
and head to your page, reload, and it's gone. So now you can update things. For example, I haven't updated my social icons. I would do that. And also the Google Hangouts, I haven't updated that. But if you do that in the tool, you're all good to go. One more thing I want to mention is actually now this image is loaded from mysignature.io's website. So basically, this is something they loaded for you. If you want to change that, you can easily do that by uploading the same image to your own website. And then you go to the HTML and let's look for. So I'm pressing Control F to search for image, just EMG like this one. So this is the main image, I believe. So I could now change this to any other image and will update just to show you. I'll grab my image from here, copy image link, and then let's place it in here like this, save it, and let's go to our page, reload it, and you can see now it's updated. Now, as you can see, it wasn't circular anymore, so that's something you would need to update yourself as well. But actually, I like the other image more, so let's go back, refresh and I'll keep the other one like this. Now, if you wanna use this email signature, you have two ways. If your email provider actually requires the HTML, then you go and copy this HTML into the field. Just don't include the HTML and body tags. You don't need those. But most of them like Gmail and Outlook, they just require this. You just grab this, you select all of this, and then you copy it. And now let's say I go to my Gmail and I create a new email. I can now paste this one in here. So just paste, boom. Now it's there and ready to be used. And obviously you can place this one now in your signatures in Gmail, Outlook, or any other uh, email provider so that it appears there automatically. And to get higher email open rates, check out the tips in the video that appears on your screen right now.